Happy day, all my friends. This is Hoi Dinosaur 1000 coming to you with our movie review. I decided I need to change it considering the last two films I reviewed were about people being shot into space by teleporter or a portal. <laughs> so I decided I'd review The Invisible Man for 2020. Um, this thing basically easily was going to be part of a cinematic universe. Then that cinematic universe fell through because Alice Kurtzman can't make shit right. <laughs> Essentially, um, here's the plot. Uh, this one woman, this one, this one, this one woman escapes an abusive relationship only, only for her ex-boyfriend, mad scientist, to stalk her down, on an, on an, on an, on as an invisible man. This film is very subtle. At one point where she goes outside, we see her breathe her air in the cold ass weather, and we see him. It's it, it great. It, it, this film was subtle in all the right ways I wanted. He has all the right gore I was hoping for, basically. So the um the effects they use are actually quite good for the most part. It's a, it's slightly cheesy when you first see him, see him, but it's rather they're enjoyable. It will ride. <laughs> the acting is good. It has a very stalker occur like tone going for the for this one movie all the way through, which is very nice. Um, overall, the the, the girlfriend's questioning, questioning, am I insane? In 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 like. Like she figures out how she's not insane. Man, this fucking invisible like boyfriend trying to kill her. I like how they have him rarely speak, and when they do, it's very, very freaking disturbing when he talks. But overall, um, this film is very subtle, well directed, well edited. I have no really major quality. This thing could have gone political in some way, which I'm like, thank God you have. Have taste and decency, and not get political. This thing was just a very, very interesting, interesting stalker. Her invisible man move, which is pretty nice. Um, one problem I have with it though, oh, is that it kind of just drags on a bit at the end, and to some extent. But overall, I'm giving this thing dinosaur approval. I'm going to give it roughly an eight point two out of ten. That's really we're watching. I'll be trying to see you later.